If you go on to enjoy the video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It does really help me out a lot. And if you're into Funko Pops, I've just started a brand new channel dedicated to them. The link for that can be found in the description. And it beats the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome back to a brand new video. 84 rated in form Pulisic under the microscope today. Of course, there is a a better version of this card not on the market but in terms of a season objective now a lot of people didn't get there because there wasn't really an awful lot of reason to play the game at that time there isn't really at the moment as we wait for team of the season so if you are one of those who hasn't or didn't do the 87 Pulisic or rather didn't choose the 87 Pulisic maybe you'll be looking at this thinking well managerial masterpiece is a thing objectives are a thing he's only 84 rated it does kind of fit the the uh, i guess the requirements um more than some other cards do and of course he's four star four star medium medium work rates which is oh, it's not bad but it could be better and then lean body type which is good 510 good height as well great pace at 94 acceleration 90 sprint speed i'm actually i've not looked at this but i'm actually going to do a little overlay on uh, my screen that i'm looking at the pace is, is exactly the same as the 87, but there is a substantial difference between this card and the 87. Like, it, it's it's almost, not too much, but it's it's a lot more than what an in-form would give. So, for example, the shooting is plus 8 on the 87, and it's plus 4 passing, plus 3 dribbling, plus 3 physical, plus 3 defending. So, you know, the, the dribbling and the passing, the physical, defending, it's fine. But a plus 8 on shooting is massive because that's where this card kind of lacks. That's why I've given him a finisher. He will primarily be playing sort of a striker. Um, you know, it, it's feasible that you could play him in a 4-3-3 or a 4 and 2 and 2 or even, I've seen some people already using him as a left wing back in a 5 back, which is uh, questionable to say the least. 35 stand tackle, 36 interceptions, not really who you want there. Even if you were to give him a shadow, it would still only be, what, you know, 45, 50 stand tackle. It's not really good enough. His strength isn't good either. You know, I, I, I'm all for experimenting. I'm all for playing players out of position. But to use this guy as a left wing back is asking for trouble. Uh, Composure is lacking a little bit, but does have great agility, very good balance, good dribbling and ball control, all for an 84 rated card. That's the team I've got him in, full chem given by Kante. That left side, by the way, Mendy, Kante and Pulisic is actually very, very good. I do play five at the back myself, so Kante actually drops into a five back with uh, Marasic and Puyol, and then Mendy was my left wing back. Him running up that left-hand side, helping out Pulisic, was awesome that Mendy card is very underrated but I've not seen anyone talk about him I've not seen anyone use him yet uh, I'm sure there's probably videos everywhere but um yeah I've not actually come up against him so this card in comparison to the 87 I mean you can't really you can compare them that's a that's a wrong thing to say I was gonna say you can't compare them you can compare them however I think you'll be using them in different situations so this is a, an objective card in my opinion where the 87 is more of a, will he fit my team? Will he go into my champs team? Could he go into my rivals team? That's the kind of questions you're going to be asking or should have been asking when you were going to pick the 87 through season objective. This card is completely different because this is low enough rated that he can go in a manager or masterpiece team or a team to go and get your icon swaps tokens done or any other objective that EA drop. There's the current, the is it a German striker? Niederlechner, I think his name is. Uh, that's complete memory. I've probably butchered it and probably said it completely wrong because I'm going off memory. But uh, I think he's the objective right now that has to be done in managerial masterpiece. This is a banging card, for lack of a better word, to go and try and achieve that. Now, of course, you are going to need certain players for certain objectives, so German players or Spanish League players or whatever it may be for certain cards. But if you can get Pulisic into a team or bring him off the bench even in a managerial masterpiece setting, he is going to cause an unreal amount of problems. He's got pace for days. This guy is fast. Four-star skills is very nice. The ball control and the dribbling, very good as well. Somehow wins a penalty there. I thought it was a bit harsh uh, myself. But, I mean, he literally just had a really harsh penalty given... Um, as well. Uh, it was against me, obviously. He got it. He missed, and I instantly, I missed that penalty as well. It was a very strange game, that one. But, um, yeah, his dribbling and his ball control for an 84-80 card, or for any card in general, actually, is very, very good. Go, goes around goalkeepers with ease, 
I know this is a bit confusing here. I do have a, a kit switch up. So I was using the Newport kit as my actual kit. Then I switched into the Inter Milan kit, but made that Newport kit my away kit. It confused me. So just imagine how, how bad it was trying to play it. So I know looking at it, it's like, hang on a minute. I'm a bit confused what's going on. Imagine playing in it. I've made a mistake there. I need to change all those kits. Anyway, I digress. Is Pulisic any good? Yes, that's the answer to the question. Thank you very much for watching. Um, he's expensive though. And that's part of the problem, really, because it's not just that he's good and that's what makes him expensive. It's the fact that there are uh, SBCs at the moment that require informs. What was the? There's a couple of SBCs that came out recently that required informs for every section. It might even be the icon. I think it is the icon. Three sections or segments, and each one requires an inform, and they are not fairly high rated, but they are asking for this type of player, an 84 and 85 rated card. So that's why his price is always going to be up that high because EA are always going to ask for those informs to keep this type of player at a high price. That being said, though, if you can somehow pack him in uh, one of your packs that you maybe open on, I don't know, over the weekend or early next week when they release Man of the Match cards or something like that and you get him untradeable, happy days. You've got a really good card that can stay in the club for managerial masterpiece, I would say, till the end of the game, because even if they do up managerial masterpiece requirements from a 79, because they've already done it, of course, from a 77 to a 79, if they do it to like 80, 81, he's still going to be in that bracket of being much better than his opponents and well within that rating to allow you to you know, create a, a decent team around him. Because the last thing you want to do, I mean, if it was a 77 rated requirement in Manager and Masterpiece, this would be pushing it a little bit. Because it's 79, you can get away with the odd 84, the odd 82, and then a couple of 75s, and obviously three silvers on the bench really does help bring the rating down. His dribbling is very good. His ball control is nice. He's very quick. Stamina could be better, but it's not the end of the world. The things that let him down, I mean, it's exactly the same that let down the 87, really. It's the composure which is at 75, the strength, which is at 58, which just needs to come up so much for it to be even remotely usable. And the fact that you can't really take long shots with him is very disappointing, considering that's the kind of player that you'd expect him to be, to cut inside on that right foot and to maybe curl one in with a, a finesse. You can't really do that with him. But when he gets into this intricate sort of areas in and around the penalty area, using the four star skills, using his paces, dribbling ability and that bridge, you are going to beat defenders very, very easy, especially the lower rated defenders that you're likely to come up against in objectives. I really do like the card. I think you should definitely try it out if you get given the opportunity and hopefully you can come down in price over the next day or two. If you have enjoyed this review, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and until the next time, goodbye.